Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So my client Jennifer is here today. She hasn't been to me in several months, but today's a typical blonding appointment for maintenance. We're going to touch up her roots, make her a little bit brighter for the summer. We know baby lights was really popular a couple of years ago. It's still popular. I specialize in them and I don't think they're going anywhere anytime soon because a lot of mothers need low maintenance. A lot of mothers like that growing out of your head look. A lot of young girls like that growing out of your head look. Right now we're going through the phase of the lived in thicker stitches with the rooted look, that's fine. But a lot of people still like baby lights and I know it can be a lot of time consumption that goes into it And it's just a lot So if you want to watch this video and learn how to get really good results, then keep watching Also, don't forget to like share subscribe. I post twice a week and I'm always here for all your hair education needs Let's get into it Howdy and welcome back. Here we are today with a special tutorial for you guys. Blonde maintenance with baby lights. But also we're going to brighten her up a little bit by keeping the hair healthy without overlapping too much. But at the same time, if we need to kick some of that brass out at the end, I'll show you what I like to do. But this is my girl Jennifer. She is a hairdresser herself. She specializes in wedding hair and she is a doll. She's been with me for about two years now. We're going to be going in with Finola No Yellow Lightening Powder 9 Plus Level of Lift Lightener. It is violet and I love it. Um, I usually go back and forth between Blonde Me and this, but lately I've been loving Joyco Blonde Life again. And I used that for a while back in the day, but I've been falling in love with it again because I feel that Schwarzkopf still, no matter if I stir it for three minutes, I still had some swelling issues not too long ago. And it makes me not even want to use it anymore, even though it's an amazing lift. If you've been following me for a while, then you know every year or so I like to go and try new lighteners and then I fall in love all over again with something new and I feel like little things like that, even new combs or new foils, it always keeps me excited and keeps me wanting to go to work and just like a little kid again. So I am in that phase right now, so don't be surprised if in the next few videos you see different lighteners. I'm playing with different ones. You know, a lot of brands always redo their lighteners or they come out with a new version or, you know, a bond builder included. So it's always good to try out new things. Just make sure that you are doing it on a close client or a friend before you go in and just do whatever. So we're gonna go in and pack these baby lights tightly back to back to back. And we're gonna do very minimal subsections, what you're used to seeing me do. Um, I am using 20 volume with a 16th ounce of Olaplex. I will never use lightener without Olaplex, no matter what the lightener is, whether it has a bond builder included or not. Um, I always think of a Bond Builder Lightener with Olaplex as double the protection. Nothing negative will ever happen by mixing Olaplex or Finola's Fiber Fix with a lightener that has a Bond Builder in it. These days, there's so many out there. I do want to try a couple of new ones. I never tried the Joyco one, and I've never, ever tried the um, K18. So if let me know if you want to see a video of me demonstrating that and giving my opinion on it. And let me know if you want to see videos of me testing different products and giving a review. I'm all for that as well. I want to spice up the channel a little bit more. Um, I do have a big announcement that I actually just announced on Instagram. I was going to wait until I got closer to the date, but I will be going into a new salon suite at Solo Suites. It's about a mile down the road. You guys, it's beautiful. I cannot wait for you to see the new space. Unfortunately, I am leaving Phoenix. It's a new chapter. I've outgrown the space. I redid it a couple months ago, but I, you know, a while ago knocked the wall down, expanded. But no matter what, I always like to challenge myself and do new things. And I have a lot of new things I want to start bringing to the salon. And with this new salon suite that's a little bit bigger, I'm able to do shadow programs, um, get another assistant back in there. It's a little bit more comfortable and more spacious. I'm just so excited and I will be doing videos behind the scenes, leaving Phoenix, moving into the new one, putting everything together. So make sure you subscribe because those videos will be coming in the next few weeks. So we're going in and we're packing these baby lights back to back to back. As I said before, I start in the back as always with her, just in case I do have to rinse. She's naturally um, a level 
37-ish, so she does lift pretty well, but um, usually she ends up evening out, and I don't have to usually pull foils. It's rare I ever do have to pull foils early on somebody. I don't even usually have to do that, but I always like to start in the back just in case, especially if the client already has a little bit of frazzled pieces around the hairline, which is very common in blondes, let's be real. The front hairline of a blonde or the front section or even the top layer is always usually a little bit more fragile or broken. That's just what you're going to get when you're doing lightener all the time. With her, we do her hair about every four to five months. Last time she came in, we darkened her up with some low lights, made her more of a lived in blonde, kind of like that. Still bright, but a little bit more dimension. Still did baby lights, but a little bit more dimension and it made it just a little bit more lived in looking. And we also did a little bit darker of a root. However, today she wants to be brighter and I am going to be doing a warmer blonde. A lot of people have always loved ashy colors and ashy tones, but as my career keeps going and I keep evolving, especially the time we're living in right now, golden warm blondes are in you guys. So I'm going to show you today how to get her really bright and keep her bright, but also use warmth a controlled warmth that I'm putting in, not a brassy warmth. There is a difference, and you guys will see that towards the end of the video. I do get very beautiful comments 95% of the time, but every 5% I do get a negative from a person or two, and I notice they're never a hairdresser, but I usually get ones where they're like, why do you put bleach and run it through the entire ends that are not all the same blonde color or even, and you're using the same developer and blah, 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 and it's always somebody who says, these professionals always, that lets me know they're not professional, I don't even pay them any mind, I love my loyal people out there because you guys always come to my defense, but I did want to show I am not overlapping her ends. You notice I kick the parts that are light enough on the ends out. But if you do want to kick any extra brass or just pop that cuticle open so it takes toner evenly, because if you do not touch the ends at all every single time, eventually they'll get really dingy and orange and yellow and they won't evenly take the toner. So the top of the head will look lighter and then the ends will look darker and you always want the roots to look darker than the ends. I hope that makes sense. But my little trick is taking 10 volume and tipping out those ends. I'm not weaving them. I'm just teasing all those little hairs that are broken or shorter out of the way and getting to the longer parts that I need to have a little bit of lightener. Just kick that cuticle open just for the last, you know, 45 minutes while she processes. And you can do this if you're worried about it with a 10 volume and do it when everything is already on at the end instead of doing it as you go. All right, so she processed for about 45 minutes. We're now going to shampoo her very well, put Olaplex number two on her ends, root tap her with A-N, A-N-A, and then I'm gonna tone her all over with 10N, 10G, and 9NB equal parts. Now we want this to be a nice, golden, rich, bright blonde. The neutral has a little bit of ash in there to cancel a little bit extra warmth, but even though she lived pretty much pretty well, gorgeously, so we want most of the tone to be G and NB, and that will give us that beautiful golden bright blonde. I can't wait for you guys to see it.
All right, we blew her out, we trimmed her up, and now we're ready to show you guys the final results. This is in the salon, warmer lighting. Look how beautiful this came out. Nothing brassy about it, nice and beautiful and bright. We matched very well that tap with a closeness to her natural color. We went one level lighter, which is okay. Nothing more than one level lighter or it will turn brassy as it fades. She's obsessed with it. I love it. She loves it. I hope you guys love it. Let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think. Leave video ideas down below yonder as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one on Monday. I love you guys so much. As always, so long for now, guys. Mwah!